Today, I thought we'd take a look at some of the new content that is coming in Despot's Game 1.0. We are going to just go over quickly the new abilities that are attached to all the tier five troops from each class. So we're gonna start here with, I'll read them for you here. The healer class, death deferred. And it's only tier five troops, keep that in mind. On death continues fighting for five seconds. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If they die, they will continue fighting for another five seconds. And we have the cultist class. Fortress of Rock. When tentacles are being summoned, increases allies armor by 100% in a small area around this unit. So I think that could be really, really good. There's so some builds where you can get a ton of armor on your cultists already. That just seems to buff it even more. I like that. That's pretty neat. We'll do the shooter class now. Volley releases 12 shots at various targets. So it's just kind of like a spray fire over 1.5 seconds and it has a cooldown. The tank class, the ghost armor, every death increases armor by 10%. So my my take on that is that, or every enemy death. So as enemies die, your armor is just increasing. So it could get really, uh, really out of hand, right? So you're talking like if the other side is, say we're in PVP, the other side has 30 troops. By the end, you could have plus 300 armor on your, on your tier five tank. Not bad. The tricksters, the helicopter kick. Every three, at every three attack, every third attack deals 150% splash damage. So they do a nice little uh, roundhouse looking kick and it deals splash damage. The thrower class, banana bomb. Every third bomb becomes a banana. When it explodes, it creates five new bombs that launch in different directions. So it just kind of breaks apart and there's a bunch of different uh, bombs that break off and deal 50% of the damage. For the fighter class, we have normal punch <laughs> for our Saitama. Attack deals 10 times damage, and there's only a 5% chance of that happening. Mages, now this is different. You might not notice this, but in, in the new season or in the 1.0 release, the this guy has, has gotten a He's gotten a promotion and Sailor Fuku has been demoted to tier four. And I think that's fair. The Boomstick charges up the club, causing the next attack to deal magic damage. So they are a melee fighter, really, right? So they walk up and they smack with their club. And they'll stun enemies in a small area for two seconds, dealing 190 damage. And it does have a 14 second cooldown and it costs some mana to use. So that's kind of an interesting thing there too, where it's going to be using up the mana that this guy has available. Now we have our fencer class, Beast of Darkness. If this unit deals the killing blow to an enemy unit, it takes on a stronger form and gains 100% to armor and attack speed. That sounds really like, that sounds huge. And then we have our egghead class, Intrinsic Impulse applies the tower ability Impulse at the current Egghead class ability level. Cannot be applied if the Egghead class ability is not active. Of course, with Eggheads, everything's super wordy. It's gonna, it, all that's saying is it's going to apply Impulse at the current Egghead class ability level. I mean, like that's, to me, I don't know. Maybe that's gonna be really good. It just reads like it's not, not as sexy as some of the other ones. Egg, uh, cannot be applied if the egghead class ability is not active. Okay. I'm just going to leave it at that. You guys will see all these animations in there. I just wanted to keep it really short. You can look forward to seeing these things in action. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy Despot's Game 1.0.